Here is the Celestron Power Seeker 50AZ Refractor Telescope. It has literally just arrived and I thought I would do a quick unboxing video just to show you exactly what you get and for you to get a bit of insight into its size and just general look and feel of it. So as you can see, it comes in this cardboard box, uh, Celestron packaging. And I'm just gonna open it up now with a pair of scissors. Obviously it needs to be very, very careful because uh, I want to protect the everything inside. Now this telescope is incredibly budget friendly, which was one of the, one of the things that draw me to it. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's one of the best sellers as well. Um, I think it ticks a lot of boxes. It's around two inch, two inches in terms of aperture. And it has, uh, I believe three Barlow lenses included, um, at the, which provide different magnifications. So sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time here, uh, but as I say, I just want to keep this all protected, but we are in it now and hopefully we'll get to see uh, the next box. So it looks like you get an outer cardboard box and then you get this inner box as well. Um, and yeah, this pretty much just describes everything that comes included. Hopefully you can see that. If I move that there, hopefully that's a little bit better for you. Um, so yeah, it pretty much just describes everything that's in it. And it looks like we've got two tabs here, which um, I need to carefully open up, um, which just pro provide better protection. So I'm going to be doing that now. Bear with me. They're actually it's actually trickier than it looks. So there's two kind of stickers here. Um, but yeah, I was really really impressed by this. And it, from from also actually, I should probably mention this box is incredibly light. So obviously everything's included here. So from first impressions, I'm I'm incredibly impressed by its by its weight. And you got to consider this has got all the accessories and and other things in it as well. So. Um, I'm nearly, I've destroyed that actually. Uh, not very good really, is it? Right, so let's do that. But I'm gonna keep this box because I'm assuming that we can store it away if I didn't want it to kind of permanently set up, but it may very well be that I keep this out. So we've got, here we go. So the first thing that comes included is this owner's manual. So we've got an instruction manual. I'm assuming that's about setup. And it also looks like, like we've got a few extra things in here, including this um, disc, which I believe is, let's have a look what that says. So it's a, it's a multi-language owner's manual. And it says that it contains, um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming there's some kind of guide there about how we can, uh, how we can set it up further and get the most out of our new telescope. Uh, we've got a quick setup guide here, which looks really, really useful. Um, and I'll be looking at that in due course. What else do we get covered in this manual? How, how kind of complex does it look? Not too bad. It's called a quick setup guide uh, and it's in different languages. So bear that in mind, don't worry about that. Um, it looks like there's 20 steps, okay? Uh, and it doesn't look too difficult. And I, I believe there's no tools required. You can do all of this by hand. But now onto the telescope itself. Let's actually get into this. Sorry if this is taking longer than um, I was initially expecting. We've got multiple boxes in here, by the way. So multiple separate boxes, which will contain the different components. So if we just go through each one. Here we have the, the tripod. Uh, I believe, so that's incredibly light. Wow, that's that's incredibly light. Um, but yeah, here's the tripod. It's got this kind of finish at the bottom, which I'm assuming helps give it stability. Um, it's a nice kind of gray. It's it's solid, but at the same time, it's light. So they're not too, they're relatively hollow, but not really. Um, but yeah, that, that looks really, really solid. So there's the, uh, the, the tripod. In here, we have all of the accessories. So I believe these are the Barlow lenses. One, I believe is 30 times magnification. The second one is 50 and the third one is 150. Maybe it says it on there somewhere. Yeah, it does. Yeah, there we go. So it says it on each one, which is really, really good. Hopefully you can see that as well. We have this, uh, I'm not entirely, I'm assuming that goes with the tripod. They'll that will have obviously a name, but I'm, I'm, it's eluding me at this precise moment. Oh, I've made a mistake. What's this? Uh, again, it's all eluding me. Um, so I've got this 
wipe, which I'm assuming we can help kind of wipe down our uh, eyepieces and things like that. I believe this is a finder scope. Uh, what's this? Um, Star diagonal, I think that's called. Again, I need to look all into this, but I just wanted to show you all of the accessories which comes included. Hopefully you can see all of those in front of me. Now on to, this is obviously gonna be the main telescope piece. And here again, you can see it's all really, really well packaged. Um, and yeah, it looks great actually. It's all really, I'm really impressed by the quality of the packaging. Everything's separately packaged, there's a lot of protection. So it should arrive in kind of mint condition. Obviously I'm assuming that's if you're getting it from new rather than used. Um, but yeah, if I just, so it's got this nice uh, paper over the top and we've got some tags as well. Uh, I'm actually just gonna take that off like that just so we can see uh, the main optical tube. So here we go, that looks absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, look at this, it's great. Lovely, it's got a lovely finish to it. And again, it's incredibly light. So that is the Celestron PowerSeeker 50AZ. Hopefully this video has given you a better idea as to what you get included, what it looks like. Um, it's one of the, you know, one of the go-to beginner telescopes um, for, for getting into astronomy and for stargazing. It's absolutely brilliant for kids. It's as I say, it's, it's a really, really, it looks incredibly easy to set up. There are 20 steps, but it's, it's called a quick start guide. You don't need any complicated tools. So this shouldn't take me too long to set up. So hopefully uh, this video was useful and it looks like this is an optimal buy.